Hey guys, welcome back. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm wearing a very bold lip today. So this is it, number five, the final video in the multi-part series about headshots. Make sure you watch the last four videos, which will be linked down below for you, because there's lots and lots of info about headshots. Even if you've already done your shoot, you will, I promise, be doing another shoot sometime in the future. Hopefully not too soon, but there's always headshots to be shot. So hopefully you can put all that info to good use in the future. Okay, let's jump into the video. So at this point, either you by yourself or you and your team of representatives have decided which pictures are going to be the best ones to print up and have be your official headshots. Now that may be just one headshot or that might be five for lots of different looks. Now it is time for retouching. The best person you can get a recommendation from about where to go for your retouching is your photographer. They might have retouching places that they work best with. They might even have discount codes for that place or they might do it themselves, or they might have an independent person to refer you to who does retouching. And usually that route is a little bit cheaper than having an actual like photo printing house do it for you. But the most common thing to do is to go with the company that's gonna be printing your headshots. They almost always have a retoucher in-house. Now there is one more option for retouching. You could do it yourself, which I don't recommend. Here's why I say that guys. I myself have retouching software. So on my last round of headshots, I picked out the ones that I wanted and my agents picked out the ones they liked and it was time for retouching. So I thought, hey, I have this retouching software. They have the tools to do like face smoothing and all that kind of stuff and eye whitening. I can do it myself, right? Oh, how wrong. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can tell in this lighting, but this photo is green. She's green. And my skin is just like way too smooth, way too airbrushed. My eyes look almost weirdly alien green. Uh, I, 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 no. First of all, obviously the trouble with retouching is if you are not a professional at it, you really don't know what is gonna really look good when, when the photo is printed out. Like what I thought looked really good and smooth skin and everything on screen, it just ended up looking so overdone when printed out. And I ended up looking just really plastic. And that's not the photo that I wanna present. I don't wanna have this like super airbrushed look. Some smoothing of the skin and lightening of the under eyes is totally fine and necessary for everybody, but it just, it just looks, it's just too much. <laughs> and also the color, you know, what looked like it was fine on my screen did not turn out so well when it was printed by the shop. Now the people in the shop that made the prints, they have their own retoucher and their own computer screens and they know how it's gonna look when they print it out. So I really should have just had them do it or had a different retoucher do it because <laughs> that is not my skill. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not terrible. It's a great photo by a great photographer. So I am going to go ahead and spend the money and have them retouch it and reprint it. Oh, that's a nice segue. Speaking of money, you can expect to pay about 20 to $50 for the retouching of each headshot. Sometimes they'll offer you a discount if you're doing a whole bunch of different looks. Usually it's around 20 to $25 if you're doing the really basic stuff like the skin smoothing and a couple hair flyaways and lightening of the eyes. But if you start getting into the nitty gritty stuff, like there's a piece of hair that's across your face and they have to like really retouch that or you know, things that are a little more intricate and take uh, more, more of their time, that's gonna cost you extra money. So there is the cost of retouching and then there is a separate cost of what is called the setup. Now the setup is just how you want it to look on the page. So that basically means what color border, if you want any border or not, um, which side, left, right, or middle your name is gonna go and what font it's gonna be in. Um, or it, you can have the photo take up the whole page if you don't wanna do the border. That's the setup of your photo and they do charge a one-time fee to do the setup. And then you'll be obviously paying for the multiples, like if you order 25, 50, 100, and 150 uh, headshots. And of course, the more photos you order per look, the better of a deal you're gonna get. If you order 25 photos, it's gonna cost you a certain amount per photo, but if you order 150, it'll cost you a lot less per photo. Which brings me to my next point, how many photos should you order? Well, this answer today is a lot different than it would have been five years ago because today in commercials, you never bring a headshot with you. I mean, of course it's good to have it in your car, but I have never, ever, ever, okay, one time, been on a commercial audition where they wanted a headshot from you. It's just not like a commercial thing. And then for theatrical, film, TV, and stage, 
A lot of them don't take headshots anymore. They do it all online, but some do. So it is imperative that on those auditions you bring with you a stapled headshot and resume, and then sometimes they'll just say, oh, we don't need one. I'm sure there will be a time in our crazy world that physical headshots don't even exist. It will all be electronic, but for now, yes, you will need to print up headshots. If it is your main photo, I would say start out with printing about a hundred of them. If it's um, more of a quirky look or um, something more offbeat that's only for more specific auditions that you don't get a lot of, maybe just print like 25 of them for now. And if you need to spend conservatively right now because you're just getting started and you have a lot to print up, then just do 25 of each one. You know, you don't have to have a stack this thick of headshots. It'll take you a long time to go through them. Times have changed. Things are slow in the business for everyone and just not every casting director wants to take a headshot anymore. So you don't need that many. And make sure you save your receipt, by the way, for any clothes that you bought for your headshots, your headshot shoot itself, for the printing and retouching, everything. You can write all of that off if you make money as an actor. Don't forget that. And while you're ordering your 8x10 prints of your headshots, think about whether you want to order postcards or any other kind of promotional materials. Postcards are something that I'm definitely going to talk about in a separate video, but um, just know that postcards are a really good marketing tool and something that you might want to have on hand, or even business cards with your headshot on it would be good. And as I always do, I will link some referrals down below for you of retouchers and headshot printers and anything else I can think of that you might need for your pictures. And that is it! We're done! We're done talking about headshots. I know it was a crap ton of information, but you know, there is a learning curve to taking headshots. And I just wanted to pass along all the things that I've learned the hard way <laughs> over the past few years onto you guys so that you can save yourself some time and money. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button, share the channel, and subscribe to it, and I will see you next time. Bye!